Do you think that more rigorous screening approaches for potential thromboembolism should be used in the management of HIV-infected patients? Would any particular populations of HIV patients be more likely to benefit from such screening? It's an interesting question, and, and though it makes logical sense, what we've learned at least in the last 20 years in the thromboembolic world is that um, screening approaches don't work. So we've seen this in many of the uh, non-HIV, such as the you know, high-risk surgical populations, some of the uh, intensive care unit populations, that a, a strategy based on screening for disease is actually not a good strategy in preventing disease ultimately. So I think a better strategy, uh, and one that has been validated, is actually to simply prophylax those patients uh, that you deem high risk. Uh, another interesting caveat to that question is that a screening ca a strategy has never been validated in the HIV population. But if you stipulate that this is a high-risk group, which I think it is from a VT perspective, given some of the epidemiologic data that, that I presented earlier, then I think a strategy of, of universal thromboprophylaxis, especially with the, uh, again, right risk profile, is a, is a better one than a screening-based strategy.